Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today there is not a weekly vlog because I'm planning on doing a handbag collection and that takes just quite a long time and that's why I thought we'd do a dedicated video to the handbag collection and if you're new here, hello my name is Chiara. I'm a self-proclaimed shopaholic, I just can't stop buying stuff but the good thing is that I showed it with you and you also shared with me in the comments and we are just one big community so let me just start um i do brand by brand and let me start with chanel because we all love chanel not not so much her prizes but we do love the bags so the first chanel handbag that i've ever bought was the chanel gst i bought it i think nine years ago yes i bought it nine years ago i was 18 now i'm like eight and a half years ago now i'm turning 27 in a few months so i was 18 when i bought this bag i love it i just i still love it so much they now discontinued the bag so i actually love it even more because there are even less people wearing it and yeah it was my university bag for most of my university years I mean, I switched up between some other bags, but most of the times I actually wore this because in there you see two departments and a zip zipper here and a MacBook um, 13 inch just fits perfectly. Then on the other compartment you can fit a notebook, um, a water bottle to drink, some pens, everything and yeah. Just a very good bag. And also I got it in the caviar leather. And let me just show you how it looks on. That's how it looks on. It's perfect to take on your shoulders as well. And yeah, if you wanna see it more in action, go and watch my YouTube shorts because I upload my outfits every single day. And if you're interested in what I'm wearing now, those are earrings from Aurélie Bieder Biedermann my boyfriend got it for me and also with the theme this is a vintage Hermes charm from the Hermes Kelly also for my boyfriend <laughs> you're here with theme and this is the um Rolex do you see that Rolex date just Rolex date just I have a whole review on there and there are is a Tiffany bracelet and another very 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 beautiful gold and um, green brace. So yeah, this is the jewelry and also jeans Massimo Dutti and shirt is from Lily Sil. Then next, the second Chanel bag that I got is actually not the typical Chanel bag to get. It's a super special one, but I love it so, so much. So, so, so much. And here you see it up close. It's this gorgeous satiny material, but then there's the stitching is made with like raffia and also the handles are raffia. I mean, this is one of the most gorgeous Chanel handbags that I've ever seen and that I own probably. It's probably like the most gorgeous that I own. It is a little bit more delicate, but actually you'd think that this bag is more delicate because it's satin, but I have it now since also like six years or something like that. And still there's like, not a single mark and i do not bathe in my handbags like obviously i do not throw it i don't know where but i mean i do throw it on the floor sometimes so yeah but yeah this one still looks gorgeous great and that's how it looks with the chain the long chain it's like the smaller the small size of the canal flap but you can also do the double chain and yeah it's gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous then the next Chanel handbag that I got was finally the classic Chanel classic flap. This is the small size, if I'm not completely wrong, or is it a medium? I never know if I got a smaller or a medium. Please let me know. Let me know if it's the smaller or medium. I never know because I just just liked the size. And yeah, it's in a lambskin leather, and it's beautiful. Also very beautiful. And also this is a vintage one, so I think it's from the nineties or. Yeah, 90s, 90s or something like that, or 2000s, I don't know. But I wanted the vintage one before 2012 because then this one here, the hardware is still made out of 24 karat gold. And I wanted that. I did not want the newer, not real gold gold. And yeah, like, yeah. And that's why I got it. And I mean, 
look at it this lambskin leather like the lambskin leather before 2012 or maybe just the older ones i don't know if that it was also just before 2012 or if just the hardware changed in 2012 but the old lambskin leather is just so much better than the new one because i have a bag in the new lambskin leather and two in the old lambskin leather and the old lambskin leather looks just perfect and they are like 40 years old or 30 years old and the new one is like four years old and the lambskin leather looks worse so go for the old lambskin leather and for new chanel bags i would honestly just go with the caviar leather because i think it's better that way then <clears throat> the next chanel bag that i got i'm not sure if i got this one or the other one they were very close but next one is, is maxi vintage one also in the lambskin leather look here this one i'm no i know for sure it's from the 80s so it's <laughs> way older than i am and it still looks very good yeah obviously it has a little bit of sagging but also like think about it. this bag is over 40 years old 40 years old and it still looks gorgeous little try on as well but they all have all like about the same size but you see i mean this this just this outfit with this bag i think it just looks very 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 good very good and then we have the next chanel bag which is also super duper special it's a denim chanel bag and chanel really they do not do a lot of denim handbags and from all the denim handbags that i've that they've done in the past this one's my favorite and i was so happy that i got my hands on it and this bag literally this bag is the bag that is the least delicate probably my whole collection well, i have another one but one of the least delicate bags even though it's fabric but this bag gets thrown away around i take it everywhere this is my running errands bag because it fits so so much it's a jumbo size it fits so so much it is gorgeous it is not delicate denim matches with literally anything you wear it makes the outfit more more special like if i were just normal white pants and like a cream shirt for example this one makes it special and look even with blue it just looks gorgeous 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 and then the last chanel handbag that i've got is um i think i got it yeah i got it from on the day that lockdown started it was march 2020 and it's a chanel trendy cc in this beautiful fuchsia it was the complete impulse buy because i, I went to chanel on my birthday and i saw it and they said well it's one of the they don't well they don't have a lot in this color they only have like two i think in switzerland and where i bought it and yes it's very very beautiful it's fuchsia i mean i don't always tend to grab a fuchsia pink handbag but i think it's a very nice pop of color and i will never get rid of it because it's just it's just a beautiful handbag and i love the chanel trendy and i didn't want to get the black chanel trendy because everyone seems to have it and also i do own like three other black chanel handbags and a lot of other black bags not a lot of other but a few other black bags so yeah it was a no for me but a pink one i mean i love pink i'm a girly girl so yeah very special and also i love the top handle so top handle it's like that and then with the chain it is like that maybe you can see it a little bit better like that because then you see <laughs> where my waist is but yeah those are all the chanel handbags and now let's move on to hermes so from hermes from hermes right now i only have one handbag and i got it at an auction because i do not like this waiting playing game if i wanted something now i want it now and well i got lucky at an auction this is a silly um box letter black kelly 28 it's gorgeous i mean you could close it but i honestly never close it for those interested this is how it looks close but i think close it looks a little bit like an old lady bag who we honest and we open it it looks like a young young and trendy bag but i can honestly tell you i don't know how many times i got stopped while shopping um in the city from older people who were like worried and said oh madam your bag is open your bag is open or miss your bag is open your bag is open and i was just like oh thank you very much because i couldn't i couldn't explain to them that i purposely wear it open but yeah that's how it is i love that it has a strap because i actually use this strap a lot 
the strap comes to here for me this is the perfect length of a strap and also i could wear cross cross body but it's this just yeah it works but it's not really the look i'm going for with the hermes bag and also i just wear it here i wear it like that a lot of the times as well so yeah really love this hermes kelly and then da -da -da -da. Then we're going to Celine and Celine is probably my favorite handbag brand because I think they just have the most gorgeous handbags. Like their designs, they're true designs. They are artists there, especially like Philly Fiber was probably the, she's an artist. And I heard that she's starting her own brand this year and I'm so excited to see what she's going coming up with. And I'm hoping that she does bags, really hope that. So let's go chronologically. This is the first Celine bag that I ever got. Oh, it's a bit, it seems to be a bit dirty on camera, but in real life it actually isn't. So <laughs> probably my camera is a bit dirty. It's a Celine trapeze. I actually own like, I actually own probably most of the Celine styles. So this is a Celine trapeze. It was a seasonal color. And I actually first wanted to get the camel colored one, but the sales associate um, brought this one and said, well, Camel colored one, Celine trapeze, a lot of people have, but this one, not a lot of people have. And he's absolutely true. I love that I got it. And I don't wear it that much because this and this leather, they are like super smooth leathers, so super delicate. And this one is white, so also quite delicate. So don't wear it that much, but it still is a beautiful bag. I mean, look, it is a beautiful bag. I mean, I know we have seen, we've all seen the Celine trapeze so many times especially like in 2016 17 18 19 20 no 20 like 18 19 but i still like it and i actually prefer it now that not a lot of people wear it or have it anymore and then next this oh, i wanted this bag for so long it was such a hard job finding it but this is the celine phantom and the croc embossed suede gray leather and the thing about this bag is I wanted it for such a long time. I was literally searching high and low to find this handbag because it was sold out everywhere. And then I got it. And now I don't really wear it. It's probably my least worn handbag of my whole collection next to my Saint Laurent probably. And it's just because it is extremely delicate. This suede is so delicate. Like if there is the slightest chance of rain, you can't wear it and in Europe it rains a lot it rains a lot so yeah I love it it's beautiful I won't sell it because it looks great on my shelf and yes I'm wearing like that but don't really wear it a lot and also you can't stuff it too much because then it will sag a little bit and I don't want that I really don't want that then next up this handbag I bought on a whim because I saw it and I went to the shop and I just was like, wow, I wanted it for so long and I never thought that I would be able to get it because you couldn't find it anywhere anymore because it's the, it's the selling luggage, but it's not the small, it's not the big, it's a micro, it's the, yeah, it's a micro, it's not the nano and it's not the mini, it's the micro, so the medium size, it's the pebble thread burgundy leather. And I literally thought that I will not never find it. And then I found it and it was actually such a good price for when I found it, which was made it even better. And yeah, I really like it. I wear it a lot and I did not think that I would wear this handbag so much, but I do wear it a lot. It's the perfect size. It also fits a laptop. Um, yeah, it has compartments in there. It's here a zipper, here two compartments as well. It's suede in there, which makes it so luxurious and pretty. And this is how it looks, and also like a red bag. Everyone needs a red bag. I mean, I have like one, two, three, four red bags, so probably too many, but I still, I just like red bags because they work with everything. They work with everything. So yeah, really like that. And then we come to the last two Celine bags. And I know I said chronological order, but I both got them for this Christmas. So yeah, let me start with the bigger one. This one I got from my boyfriend and he did the most amazing job because this is one of the most amazing handbags I've ever seen. This is Celine knot bag. And here it's this gorgeous, gorgeous, almost tweed like gray material. But then with the black smooth leather, it just looks so nice. And this bag holds its structure perfectly because it also has the leather 
down there so it does not sag it's perfect like it fits all of my stuff and even more it fits so much it looks stunning and yeah i mean you can wear this for a casual outfit you can wear this for a um for a work outfit you can wear it um for when you travel like it should because i I'd like to take a bigger handbag with me because i just take so much stuff with me because um i always have too little space in my luggage so i need too big hand luggage is like a big handbag and the hand luggage as well so this is perfect for the handbag and also it's just with every outfit it just makes the outfit it makes it oh the door rang i just go and come back very soon and then the last celine handbag is the celine classic bag some people also call it the celine box bag but it's actually called the celine classic bag i got it in this beautiful cream color sorry i just run up and down the stairs and i'm out of breath i just got it in this beautiful cream color um yeah it's beigey cream with the silver hardware which is perfect because i usually have a lot of gold hardware and i anyway wear gold and silver hardware mixed like my watch is mixed with gold and silver hardware so yeah really like this bag it's the perfect like cross body bag because also it's super understated perfect size super understated but it's still fits a lot of stuff in there like you wouldn't believe but it fits a lot of stuff in there and also because i got the pebble the version it's super del it's super durable like i only have it for like two months but i still i see that it's super durable that's how it looks inside has a lot of space like plenty enough space in my last weekly vlog i did a what's in my handbag for this bag and also for this bag so if you're interested what fits in those bags Go watch it and yeah really like it cream colored small bag i did not really own a cream colored small bag for crossbody and now i have it and this is the perfect running errands bag and also if you don't want to flash with a logo or if you don't want to have a bag that's nice but then not everyone knows that it's like thousands of dollars even though this is probably one of the most expensive bags from celine then this bag is perfect as well so now we're going to dior then the next mini is in this beautiful, not mini, Lady or Small is in this beautiful metallic one. It's a fuchsia color again. I mean, I love pink. I do love pink. You know that by now, but you can't really wear it a lot. But this bag, I actually wear a lot for evening outfits because I wear a lot of white and black evening outfits. And then with a fuchsia pop of color, it just is perfect. And also metallic. Metallic is just very good for evenings. It's very good for evenings. But... It's not only good for evenings. I also love metallic for the daytime because this is actually one of my absolute favorite handbags. It's the Lady Dior medium in the metallic silver version. And this bag, this, this, it's like this metallic canache thingy here. It is probably one of the least delicate handbags. I can wear it in the rain, wear it during snow. I, can, I could drop a glass of red wine and it just would splash up. Just do does nothing it's perfect so if you're in a crowded place if you go shopping and there are usually a lot of people shopping and yeah just take this bag because it's perfect also it has the zipper there and here's the little size thing for the medium lady Dior. i think it's perfect and yeah this is one of my most worn bags because because it's a little metallic that's a little bit metallic it's like really metallic but because it's metallic it's just brightens up every outfit and yeah it just looks gorgeous it just looks gorgeous and makes it a little bit more special like jeans white t-shirt and this and the outfit is special even though you're only wearing jeans and a white t-shirt and then the last lady dior is this lady dior medium again this is in the calf skin leather i think and it's in the beautiful burgundy red 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 color it's a little bit a lighter red than the celine luggage but it's still a red tone and still a darker red tone because i don't really like the lighter red tones but yeah this is also very pretty it's much more elegant handbag than this one this is more like trendy cool and this is like elegant so if you want a more elegant outfit this bag is perfect so i always tend to go for this bag if i want a really classy really really elegant outfit and i mean yeah it's the same size as the metallic one but I also really like this one. It's really pretty. And also, you might not believe that, but Lady Dior handbags are actually super spacious. Like, you can fit a lot in them. And that's amazing. Because I always bring a lot. I mean, you see it with this one. 
This is the last Dior handbag and it's a Christian Dior book tote. I wore this handbag to death. Like not to death, it still looks perfect, but now the handles kind of, one of those handles, it kind of flops in, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's really not bad. But yeah, it's very pretty. I think I could, maybe I can fix this if I kind of put it like that a little bit. I don't know. Maybe give me your tips, but still no, re really no frets. There are loose. I have this handbag for like, I bought it in 2019. So three and a half years, three and a half years. And I wore it to work once, like not once, like for one whole year, I wore it probably every day because I loved it so much. For the first year I got it, I wore it every day for work. I wear it to the beach. I wear it as like my travel bag. I wear it just a lot. So I highly recommend the Lady Dior Book Tote, not the Lady Dior Book Tote, the Dior Book Tote. And I also really recommend it in this oblique print because it's classic. It will never go out of style. It goes with everything. And yeah, I also take this on the airplane with me. Like this comes underneath the seat in front of me. So it really is an amazing bag. And it also is not that expensive for a designer handbag. It's like two and a half thousand, which is actually kind of affordable in handbag prices. I mean, I know it's fabric, but also some of my handbags from Chanel are fabric and they are a lot more expensive. So yeah, really good handbag. And I do not regret it a second that I got it. Not a second. So let's start with the smallest Dior handbag and probably like the least expensive one. I just got it in a vintage store. It was just right before a gala and I needed a little clutch. So it was perfect. It's just a little vintage, super, super pretty, um, silvery clutch. And yeah, I usually don't really wear a clutch, but if you go to a gala, something like that, you really need a clutch. You can't wear a big bag. So yeah, perfect for that. It fits a phone, lipstick, card, and that's about it. But still great. Then we go to my Lady Dior collection and I own four Lady Dior's. I love them. I have two mediums and two smalls. So let's start with the smalls. This one is a white patent leather one. I just have always have this twilly around there because the white um, handles, they tend to get dirty and also patent is actually, you would not think that, but patent is actually one of the most delicate, um, not fabrics, but materials, materials that your handbag can have. Very pretty though. And yeah, this is the little white mini. I also have the chain to go around, but I usually just wear it like that as a little evening out bag. Or if sometimes wear it with a chain, if I'm on holiday and I just want to go sightseeing or something like that. But probably right now, now, now since I have the Celine Classic back, I will probably take this one for traveling sightseeing as well. So yeah, really cute little bag. Then we come to Gucci and I only have one Gucci handbag because I'm usually not the biggest fan of Gucci handbags, but this one is amazing. It's a vintage one and it's just the cutest handbag of them all. I mean, you can't really fit something in there, like a little bit of cash, maybe a cord, but it just looks, oh, it looks so cute. It's in this, oh, it's just amazing. It's the cutest little Gucci handbag. But I mean, even though I, I'm now saying that I'm not loving Gucci handbags, but, but I recently developed a little crush on a Gucci handbag and I actually developed this crush on the Gucci um, 1955, but with the just classic Gucci canvas. I really like it. I really want this bag. I think it looks so classic and yeah, I really want it. So even though I'm not the hugest, hugest Gucci fan, this bag is probably next on my wish list because it's, it's stunning. It's stunning. Google it. It's stunning. Then Saint Laurent. I love Saint Laurent, but I think the thing is Saint Laurent, I also love their handbags so much, but a lot of their handbags, a lot of people have. And that's why you see them just a lot. And I usually prefer handbags that you don't see all the time that are kind of special. That's why I love special edition handbags and that's just not a lot of people wear. So yeah, this is the only Saint Laurent handbag that I have at the moment. It's the So Kate. And yeah, it's just, I mean, it's a gorgeous bag. If I go to a club, I will probably wear this bag because again, this material like drinks would just spill off and the handbag would still be intact. I mean, I got this handbag probably like eight years ago, seven years ago, and it still looks perfect. Yes, I did not wear it a lot in the last few years, but before that, I actually wore it a ton, like a ton. 
I mean, it's still beautiful. And I don't really want to sell it because it's still a very, very beautiful handbag. Beautiful handbag. Then we go to Shivanshi, and I also only have one Shivanshi handbag, but it's one of my favorite handbags, and it's the Shivanshi Antigona. And I don't usually like the Shivanshi Antigona, I like the normal Shivanshi Antigona. I think it looks a bit basic. I'm sorry if you have it, but I just don't really like it. But this one, this one is stunning. It's croc embossed, so not real croc, croc leather, croc embossed. And it's again, I can wear it in the rain. I wear it, this is my rain bag. This and the Lady Dior, the metallic, those are my rain bags because they are perfect in the rain. It just, they dare not bothered by rain, by snow, nothing. And this bag just fits a ton. Also, obviously, a laptop, but also with the laptop, a lot of other things. So, if I don't wear the Dior Book Tote, I wear this one as a work bag or the GST. So, those are my work bags. And yeah, not only work bags, I also wear it a lot in my free time. But yeah, I really like it. I think it's, if you find it, if you're able to find this because it's like a few years old, then get it. You won't regret it. I promise you, you won't regret it. It's one of the most stunning, amazing handbags. And it's probably the handbag that I got the most compliments for. I mean, I get stopped on the street on it regularly when I wear this handbag. People ask me and say, just, your handbag is amazing. And I'm Thank you. <laughs> it's like the best compliment to give me. No, the best compliment to give me is that I have nice eyebrows. I love that. I love that so much. But yeah, really like this bag. And then my last two handbags are actually from Louis Vuitton. And it's one, the Louis Vuitton um, Never Fool MM in the Dami Assure. And this was my first designer handbag. I got it for my 16th birthday, I think. It was 600 US dollars. So, oh price increases the price increases but yeah it's still stunning looks perfect i don't wear it a lot anymore because again a lot of people have it there are a lot of fakes but it's still a beautiful bag if i need to carry a lot of things this bag is great i also really like to use it as a beach bag so yeah and it like this material is like the best of the best materials so you can really wear this beach bag and it still will look great and also the size i think the mm size is just perfect this was also my school bag for a long time, like when I was in high school. This was my school bag. And yeah, I really like it. Really, really like it. I also used it for a little time as a gym bag, but now this is the only bag that I don't have here. Now I use my Balenciaga city bag as a gym bag. I mean, I have my Balenciaga bag since like nine years. So yes, I wouldn't buy it now, but I still have it. And I only use it as a gym bag for the last six years probably yeah and then the last handbag is this Louis Vuitton handbag I just got it as a gift from a friend of my mom and I just because she didn't use it anymore and I actually also don't use it I think I've never used this handbag and I have it now since six years but yeah I need to sell it this is like the only handbag that I would sell because I really don't really like it and it's also it does not look super pretty on the shelf so yeah I should sell it but it is a little bit damaged can I sell it even? I don't know. It's not even worth the, house, the the time to sell it, I think. But yeah, I also, if you count it as a bag, the Louis Vuitton, the Kipal, like the, the bag, the travel bag, I also have just one in the 55. And yeah, those are all of my handbags that I have at the moment. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the handbags, leave them down below. Also, tell me down below what your favorite handbag of my collection was. If you're watching until now so i know that you watched until now and yeah i'll see you in my next video and also the shirt that i've shown you at the beginning it's out now from, um, from lily silk and with the code alish 12 you get an extra 12 percent off i will leave the link down in the description box below so have a very nice day and i will see you very soon bye bye and also please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps me bye bye